The purpose of fire-resistant glazing products in modern architecture is to compartmentalize buildings, preventing a rapid spread of fire and providing a prolonged and safe egress without compromising vision and transparency. Where regular glass shatters within minutes of the occurrence of building fire, fire-resistant glass maintains its integrity. This one-hour fire test to U.S. standards compares the product performances of fire-resistance-rated intumescent glazing to fire-protection-rated non-intumescent glazing. The objective is the demonstration of the differences in fire-resistance between these two classifications. To illustrate the effects of radiant heat transfer, we placed a selection of identical items and furnishings in front of both compartments of the test furnace, separated by the two different types of glazing. The test took place in an ISO 17025 accredited fire test laboratory under the supervision of International Fire Consultants Limited, a leading fire safety consulting firm. The partition on the left is glazed with a 1 inch thick fire resistance rated type glass comprising of multiple layers of glass and intumescing interlayer which fully complies with the requirements of ASTM E119. The partition on the right is glazed with a fire protection rated type glass, a 3 16 inch thick monolithic glass ceramic which fully complies with the requirements of NFPA 252 and NFPA 257. At 20 minutes, the radiant heat transfer through the fire protection rated glass is reaching critical intensity levels, and potentially harmful gases are being generated by objects exposed to the intense radiant heat passing through the glass. A heat flux greater than 15 kilowatts per square meter is measured at one meter distance from the glass. At 27 minutes, in the right-hand compartment, combustible items nearest to the glass have auto-ignited. Even without a pilot flame, fire has spread to the opposite side of the partition due to radiant heat transfer through the glass. At 45 minutes, nearly all combustible items, even those placed a greater distance from the glazing, have ignited conditions are unbearable for human occupants. By contrast, in the fire resistance rated compartment, none of the identical combustible items have changed. As the test concludes after 60 minutes, the compartment containing the fire resistance rated glass remains fully intact. Ambient temperature remains safe enough for refuge by occupants. Due to the intense heat transfer in the right-hand compartment containing the fire protection rated glass, all combustible materials have either burned or melted. Comparison of key measurements. Radiant heat flux at one meter distance. 60 minute fire resistance rated glass, 0.09 kilowatts per square foot. 60 minute fire protection rated glass, 2.7 kilowatts per square foot. Average glass surface temperature. 60 minute fire resistance rated glass, 235 degrees Fahrenheit. 60 minute fire protection rated glass, 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. Maximum air temperature in front of the glazing. 
60 minute fire resistance rated glass, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. 60 minute fire protection rated glass, 935 degrees Fahrenheit. This dramatization depicts the extreme difference between the two types of fire rated glazing components. Both types fully comply with current requirements set by the International Building Code as passive fire rated building components. To learn more, visit us at www.vetrotechusa.com or contact us at 1-888-803-9533.